A 20 years old patient who was born with a rare genetic defect called microtia, which means the external part of the ear is absent or small, has received a 3D organ transplant for the first time. About 1500 babies are born in the United States with this condition. This might not be a life threatening condition, but it brings much bullying to such children, which eventually triggers stress and anxiety in them. The patient who received the new ear was one of the first to have had such a successful transplant as a part of clinical trial. The surgery was conducted by Dr. Arturo Bonilla, a pediatric ear reconstructive surgeon. Previously, the techniques for this condition was harvesting the cartilage from the patient's rib and then reshaping it into the patient's ear. It is said that the company uses collagen-based bioing that is safe in the body and also keeps all the materials sterile. So now let's talk about the process. The surgeon first removed half of the gram of cartilage from the woman's malformed ear and then healthy ear was 3D scanned. The patient's chondrocytes, which means the cartilage forming cells, were isolated from the tissue sample and was grown in a slurry mixture of nutrients. Then these cells were proliferating into billions of cells in that mixture. The exact mixture has not been out yet due to the proprietary issue. Those cells were then mixed with company's collagen-based bioing. And this collagen was inserted through a syringe into the specialized printer that is squirted out to create a mirror replica of the patient's healthy ear. The mind-blowing thing is that the whole process of printing only took less than 10 minutes. So what were the previous breakthrough in organ transplantation? So let's talk about it. In January of 2022, surgeons from Maryland had transplanted a genetically modified pig's heart into a human patient, which extended his life by two months. Scientists are also developing various techniques that would otherwise decrease the need of a donor and would also decrease the wastage of donor organs. Talking about another case, a case from Switzerland showed that a person received a liver that was preserved for 3 days and yet it is still functional in the body even after 3 years. Now I'd like to talk about briefly about the clinical trial. The trials are still going and it is possible that the transplanted organ could fail or bring unanticipated health complications. But since the cells are from the patient's tissue, the new year is not likely to be rejected by the body. The clinical trial will be followed for five years to evaluate the long-term safety and aesthetic outcomes of the patient. So far, there were 11 volunteers which were included between the age of 6 to 25 years. This work of 3D's bio success is not a work of a month or a year, but they were continuously working on this for seven years, after which they came to such a recent breakthrough. The technology, if works, can be a revolutionary in the field of medicine. It can be used for much another replacement parts, including spinal disc, noses, knee menisci, rotator curves, and reconstructive tissues for lumpectomies. Further advancements in the 3D organ printing can be used to further produce even the vital organs like liver, kidneys, and pancreas. It definitely would not be a piece of cake for making an ear that is mostly an appendix, let's say, not a functional thing, to those functional organs, but it definitely would show the light to that journey anytime soon. So that's it for today. Subscribe for more. This is Merit, Merit for you.